any form of compost for your garden we know is gold. If you can make your own, it is going to improve your gardening so, so much. However, not all of us have the space to make a traditional compost heap. So what do you do with all those scraps? Well, we've got a solution and trust me, it works and it's brilliant. The procedure is called Bokashi. Bokashi is a fermentation method. So it's a rotting process without oxygen. A normal compost heap is an aerobic process. It needs air, which is why you've got to turn your compost heap. Whereas Bokashi is anaerobic. So there's no oxygen in the process. Ah, which also means it's not gonna smell. Number one, what are you gonna need? Well, if you're gonna start investing in Bokashi, you get the bin and you get a bag of bran. The bran has been inoculated with these effective microorganisms. So let's take a look at this guy. It's a bucket, it's got a tap, which obviously you can open and close, and the tap is where your liquid then sits in a sump. So have a look here. Inside it, there's a little sieve, a little base plate with these guys over here. So that sits inside the bucket and then that's where your water collects or your tea as they call it. And once your bokashi gets going and your fermentation process happens, you'll be able to remove liquid from there once a week or even twice a week, depending on how much is happening in here. Right, getting started is really simple. All you need to do, open up the lid and then you start putting in your scraps. So what scraps can go in here? I'm gonna list them and it's basically anything. Eggshells, tea bags, coffee grounds, bones, small bones like chicken bones, shells left over from seafood. I've got a leftover salad, mm, no salad dressing. Bokashi doesn't like oil and it doesn't like food that is already rotted. All right, so that's an important lesson that you need to understand. All you're gonna do is take your leftovers, pop them in, so for every layer that you add, which is literally 100, so 10 centimeters, you're then gonna add some bran, because remember, the bran has got the effective microorganisms. So we're gonna take this here, just pop it all in, because the Bokashi bin lives in the garage, it cannot live in full sun, really importantly. So put it inside the grocery cupboard at the bottom, put in the broom cupboard, put in the scullery, or put it in the garage, it needs to be a dark spot. So I've got a layer of about 100, you can see there, it's quite thick. All right, now we start adding in our Bokashi brand. Bokashi brand has got a resealable little strip at the top and it's important that you do keep it sealed up. So a couple of handfuls, and then you can use a little masher. You can move it around so that you're coating the bits that are in here because it just helps speed up the Bokashi, okay? coat it and then squash it. Once I've done that, because I've got quite a bit here, you just carry on. Give it a mix and squash it down. Take something that you can use to cover it. You want to remove as much oxygen as possible. To do that, I just take a bit of newspaper, pop it on top, and you're just creating a little lid. And then the next time you're adding, remove the newspaper, just carry on adding until you get right to the top. Seal it up and don't try and skip this step. It's very important because this process has to happen without oxygen present. So make sure that this container is really sealed up well and then you put it in a dark place and you let the Bokashi magic happen. Within about two weeks, you should be able to tap off your first Bokashi tea. And remember, all you gotta do is open up the tap and pop it into a little container. What do you do with the Bokashi tea? You dilute it as one part of Bokashi tea to 300 parts of water. So in other words, if you have removed one teacup of tea, of Bokashi tea, you need to add in 300 cups of water. That you're then going to use and add as a liquid plant food, and it's free. You're gonna use it in your indoor pot plants, your veggie garden, use it on your lawn, because think about it, all of that nutrition that's been in there has now fermented and turned into this beautiful organic liquid that you can use to feed your plants. So left at the bottom of the bin where the sieve is, there will always be some leftovers of the product or the material that you added in there. 
what I want you to do is to go into the garden. You're gonna dig a hole, you're gonna empty that into there. Cover it up, and the hole must be at least 40 centimeters deep because it's got a really fermented smell. The other thing that you can do if you've got a compost heap at home, make a little hole in the compost heap and empty the bokashi remains into that and cover it up. And that way you're adding all that goodness back into your compost heap. So that's it guys, what's not to like? Bokashi is absolutely brilliant. This is just one of the composting solutions available at Builders. Remember you can get it online at builders.co.za or you can pick it up in store. And if you want to find out more and learn more gardening hints and tips and easy kind of things like this, then make sure to go to our blog and also to visit our YouTube channel. Get to Builders and get it done.